aminin na natin, halos lahat tayo o karamihan sa atin, there's this one thing in common. Gusto natin na mapansin yung picture natin. Gusto natin na mapansin yung post natin. Kasi we all have this story to tell and we all have this something na gusto natin i-share na guys, tignan nyo tong experience ko. Naku, minsan, it doesn't look that good. Okay, gawin natin mabilis to. Wala lang paligoy-ligoy pa. Let's start the tutorial of Photography Basics Composition. Marami kasing factors para masabi natin na maganda yung picture. Pwede yung maganda yung lighting, maganda yung lugar, o kaya... Wala, ganda lang kasi crush mo. And pwede namang sabihin natin na iba yung resolution, iba yung quality. Kasi ito pinicture sa phone, ito pinicture sa DSLR. Ang daming bagay to take into consideration. Pero ito, ito yung composition. Pagkakakompose mo dun sa image kung ano-ano ba yung mga bagay na nasa loob ng frame. Composition, para sa akin, nung nag-uumpisa pa lang ako sa photography, nung natutunan ko, sabi ko ito yung, ito yung salarin. Ito yung dahilan sa likod ng mga picture na napapasabi ka ng Lo, ganda! Napapatanong ka na, bakit? What draws your attention in the picture? Ito yun. Ito yung composition. Okay, so number one, it's not actually a rule but it's important. Number one is, know your subject. It's basically para lang malaman mo kung saan mo i-apply yung mga following rules. Add depth to your picture. Depth ng lalim. So, the most common way ako, personally, ginagawa ko para magkaroon ng depth yung pictures ko, eh, I shoot through something. I shoot through objects, architectures. I shoot through glasses. I shoot through prisms. I shoot through windows. I shoot through doorways. Ano nga ba kasi yung depth, yung lalim? Ba't ba natin ito ginagawa? And what makes it something na sobrang nakaka-appeal and masarap tignan sa picture? Ito yung may foreground mid-ground or yung subject and background kasi yung paliwanag daw dito mga pictures kasi mga photographs it's a 2D form of art I mean flat may 3D tayo yung mga architecture sculpture and all of those things na hindi ko na alam yung photograph is 2D and when it has depth yung meron siyang lalim it gives the the viewer tayo ikaw ng 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 pero keep in mind, yung number one na know your subject, kasi kung minsan marami tayo nakikita nun, aminado ako na gano'n ako dati nung hindi ko pa ito inaaral. Yung lagi ka nang lagi ng kahit ano dun sa lens, picture, sige post ka, picture, picture, yan na, sige, yung ganda, oh, ganda ng pitik mo. Ang galing, Jesse, sobrang ganda ng pitik mo, may mga harang-harang pa dun sa lens mo. Alam mo, galing eh, no? pero mali yung ginagawa ko. Kasi ang nangyayari, sa sobrang nakaharang, ano ba yung subject? Yung nakaharang ba o yung tao? Yung nakaharang ba o yung building? Okay? Now, let's move on sa next rule na which is connected dun sa depth, which is frame your subject. So, paano siya naging connected? Kasi when you add this foreground sa mga picture mo, is nagkakaroon ka ng context of where your subject is sa environment na kung nasaan siya. And when you frame your subject, you add more context kung nasaan yung subject mo. Parang ganito. Nagpicture ako nun sa banyo, sa may antipolo, debut ni Makon. Shoutout kay Makon. I asked my friend na mag-step outside and he used the doorway para i-frame ako and at the same time, it adds depth it adds the foreground para sa akin kasi natin framing the subject it's searching for your environment and finding something na ma-enclose mo yung subject mo it draws the viewer's eye to the subject so next time you take a picture outside ng friend mo, ng jowa mo, ng magulang mo ng kung sino man sa buhay mo is take that extra 10 seconds and stop at sabihin mo, wait, meron bang something's environment that I can use to frame my subject? So here are more examples of framing your subject. Uh, framing your subject is not limited by the architecture. You can also use light to frame your subject. Okay, next. Doon tayo sa pinakasikat na rule. Na kung saan-saan mo na narinig na sigurado akong narinig mo na. Ito yung, uy, rule of thirds mo nga. So ano ba yung rule of thirds na yan? So para sa mga hindi pa nakakaalam at kahit alam mo na, 
Pakinggan mo muna ako. Yung rule of thirds na yan, ito yung grids. Just sa phone mo na dinisable mo kasi sabi mo sa gaba lang sa picture. Rule of thirds is basically, kapag magpipicture ka, you place your subjects isa dun sa line. Pwede yung line na pa-vertical or yung line na pa-horizontal. Yung rule of thirds na yan, there's the science behind it daw na hindi ko alam kung ano yung science na yun. Hindi ko alam yung pinaka-explanation but it's automatically, visually more appealing para sa brain natin. That's how we see it daw. Yung rule of thirds na yan, lagi mo nakikita yan, hindi mo na napapansin. Minsan ba, pag nanonood ka ng palabas ng interview, makikita mo yung, yung in-interview, hindi di ganito, diba? Nakaganito. Nakaganito sa side na to. Diba? Yung ganong part. Or kaya nung nanonood ka ng Avengers Endgame tapos sabi ni Thanos The hardest choices require the strongest wills Naka third yun O kaya nung sinabi niya kay Tony Stark na I hope they remember you Naka third din yun O kaya nung sinabi ni Gamora na What did it cost you? Tapos sumagot si Thanos na Everything Naka third din yun na hindi mo lang napapansin Sobrang life hack or sobrang photography hack ng rule of thirds na once you place it there Pro ka na hindi, joke lang. Pag once you place it there, automatically it brings your viewer, it brings the people's attention dun sa picture. Talagang sobrang, uy, ganda. Ginilid lang naman. Kasi, the thing here is, you're giving that communication between your subject and your background. Para bang you're telling this, this conversation between the subject and what is happening around him. May story agad kapag nag rule of thirds ka. And to our next rule, na hindi naman ganun talaga ang ka-rule, but kalakip siya ng rule of thirds, it's the rule of space. Actually, hindi mo kailangang tandaan lahat ang sinasabi kong terms, basta y- you get me. Rule of space, it's kung saan nakatingin yung subject mo, nandun dapat yung space. Ganyan rin ganito, dito ko na napapakita mismo ha. Ito third screen yung sarili ko. Ayan, naka rule of thirds ako, diba? Dito ako nakatingin, ibig sabihin, itong side na to, mas malaki yung space. Hindi siya pwedeng ganito. Ganyan. Dito ako nakaharap, tapos mas malaki yung space dito. Hindi. Kasi, basta yun. Hindi maganda tignan, di ba? And dahil nabanggit na rin natin yung rule of thirds, bakit tinatunong mo na sa akin, eh Jesse, paano yun? Ibig sabihin, hindi ako pwede magpicture sa gitna? Hindi ko pwede ilagay yung subject sa gitna? Pwede. Anong ginagawa ko sa gitna? There, there are these moments kung saan nilalagay mo yung subject mo sa gilid, nilalagay mo sa gitna. Kailan yung moments na yun? Ask yourself. Kasi it's you that decides kung paano mo ba tinatake yung picture. There are deeper reasons of why you put your subject to sa thirds and to sa gitna. Pero this time, tulungan kita dun sa pagde-decide ng saan ko talagay, sa thirds ba o sa gitna with this next rule. The next rule is the symmetry and centered subject. Now, para sa akin personally, personally ah, para sa akin, ewan ko sa ibang photographer dyan, para sa akin, nahihirapan ako i-pull off yung magandang picture sa gitna. Kasi pag nirule of ko, okay, maganda. Pero once I place my subject sa gitna, Sobrang bihira na maganda na kukuha kong shot. Pero once I do it right, it's on the next level. It catches more attention and the composition is better para sa akin. So, yung centered na yun, kalakip siya ng symmetry. Ito yung balance eh. Ito yung knowing na the things around the picture is balance. Yan ay, picture ka. Pag picture mo, pantay ba yung laman sa kanan? Yung kanan ba puro basura? Tapos yung kaliwa wala? O di gawin mo, yung kanang basura, likpitin mo muna lahat ng basura para magpantay. O kaya ikalat mo rin yung basura sa kabila. Okay, so the next one is leading lines. What is leading lines? Leading lines is basically your imaginary lines that you see on your surroundings that creates this line that attracts your viewer's eye towards the subject. Is an example nito is ito yung um I was like two one month pa lang sa photography nito. One month pa lang ako nag-aral nito. PE class namin noon. Tapos 
Okay, class. So warm up. Warm up. One, two, three, four, and everything like that. Habang doon ako, nakita ko yung ano, yung sa support sa mae sa Rizal ay, nakita ko yung lines, parang papunta lahat doon sa gitna. Ako, gundo nito ah. Tapos, e morning class yun, 7am. Yung sinag nung araw na tumatagos doon, kung ano yung alignment ng architecture, yun din yung alignment ng araw. Ako, gundo nito ah. Pam- Okay, next rule is the rule of odds. Basically, kapag may picture ka, dapat daw odd number at wag even number. So, may picture ka ng tao, kapat kayo magkakaibigan, palisip mo sa mga kaibigan para mas maganda yung picture. Hindi, <laughs> joke lang. Ah, kanya rin, product photography, lalo ngayon, mga business. Uh, when you're taking your product shots, or kanya rin, mag Starbucks ka, gusto mong sabihin, gusto mong i day yung Starbucks mo, o gusto mong i yung gusto gusto mong i-milk tea. Gusto mong i-my day yung milk tea mo. Kaya na, nag-milk tea kayo ng jowa mo. Eh, ang kaso, pagbili mo ng milk tea, dalawa. Hala, hindi, hindi rule of ads. Gawin mo, huwag mong bila ng milk tea yung jowa mo. O kaya, huwag ka mag-jowa para isang milk tea lang yung bibili mo. O kaya, bili ka pa ng isa para tatlo. Tapos, bigay mo sa akin yung isa. Just take into consideration before taking a picture para mas maganda. It's more visually appealing to see odd numbered subjects than even numbered subjects. And the last rule is break the rules. Kasi, again, as I'm always telling you, and dun din sa sinabi ko dun sa last vlog ko, kung hindi mo pa napapanood, I'll put it De, sa description na lang. Di ako marunong maglagay kung paano ba nila pinapalabas yung break the rules. Kasi that's the greatest thing about art. Art is subjective. Art is... Art has its own style and there is nothing right or wrong. Lahat ng rules na sinabi ko, don't treat it as rules. Treat it as guidelines. And when you have something better in mind, eh, parang mas maganda ka pa ganito eh. Go. Do it. Because that is your art style. So... S- <laughs> Nagalo yung mic. Go, because that is your art style. Keep being creative and artistic. Wait, ano? Ah, uh, bonus tip pala. Ah, uh, I know this, kung sasabihin ko, this may sound churchy para sa iba. But, the last tip is, in whatever you do, i-submit it, submit it to the creator. Kasi, para sa ating mga tao na napaka-creative, ibigay mo lang lahat yun sa Diyos. Ibigay mo lang sa ating creator. I know, I know. Sabihin nyo, ang churchy naman ito. Masyado maka-Diyos. But, yun yung totoo. Para lang sa akin, ha. Kasi, you may take this as a hobby, as something that you are serious, your profession, your passion. Ibigay lang natin sa kanya. Ibigay lang natin kay God. At, isubmit na, kayo na pong bahala, and I will do my best. And I'm telling you, <clears throat> Ibabato ka nun sa places na hindi mo in-imagine na magkakaroon ka. Na mapapadpad ka. Hindi ko alam na magkakaroon ng sarili kong camera eh. Hindi ko alam magkakaroon ng sarili kong lens. Sarili kong mic. Anyways, yun lang. Goodbye. Wait! Wait lang. Kung may natutunan ka sa pinapanood mo, pwede bang favor naman? Pwede bang... Hmm. Suntukin mo yung like button. Tapos mag-subscribe ka na din. Kasi I will be creating more things like this. And your subscription or yung pag-subscribe mo sa akin at yung pag-like mo really does help me in whatever that I am doing. Thank you.